Alright, so if you keep it track, <coughs> this is day three. Three, that I'm sick. It seems to just be getting bad to worse. Like, I have these moments of clarity, but okay, that's the point of this video. We're already clear that I'm sick. Alright, so today, I, as we know, on Thursdays I teach a GED class, and I could not find a sub, so I wouldn't have to go in. Now, technically, the class is only two and a half hours, but you know, when you spend the whole day sleeping, you clearly don't feel like teaching pronouns and nouns. But I didn't want to cancel, I didn't want them to be sitting over there, so the um, place is only like a mile from my house. So I jumped in the shower since I hadn't done with that in two days and made my way, my way over to school. I tell you all this so to tell you how I was the most unattractive I could ever be. Like, stuffy, nose running, I just pulled on any old sweater, any old pair of jeans, whatever. Right? All I made sure is that I had my lesson plan for the day. Alright, so... <coughs> so after class, one of my male students comes up to me and says, Teacher, yes, can I have your number? Uh, why? Well, you know, I need extra help. And, um, you're a good teacher, so I want you to help me. Well, I can give you my email address so you can type and tell me what exactly you need. Well, um, now mind you, we're having this whole conversation while I'm packing up my bags and walking down the stairs so I can get in the car and take my ass home because I want to do what? Strip all my clothes off and get back in my bed. Anyway, so teacher, um, then he slings his arm over my shoulder. I'm like, yeah, let's call him Jamaican guy. And so I'm like, uh, yeah, how can I help? Well, you know, my grammar and my spelling. Yes. It's bad, so I think you should be my personal tutor. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Anyway, so I'm walking to my car, and I'm starving too, because all I've been sustaining myself on is yogurt with almonds raisins in it. Anyway, so I'm babbling because I can't keep track of the story. Anyway, so dude is like, I get to my car, I open my car door. Dude is like, oh, you're not gonna let me open the door for you? I said, no, I'm good. Um, so, um, I can't have your number? No. Um, and then it clicks. I mean, I get it. I'm not that clogged up. I know dude is hitting on me. But then I remember, oh wait, I'm also Jamaican. And I know why, how this can immediately go away. So he starts looking around the parking lot and I'm thinking, oh, is this guy going to lean in and try to kiss me or something crazy? He goes, um, what, you have a husband? Ding, ding, ding. Yes, I have a husband. Oh, um, no disrespect then. No disrespect. I said, good. And that's how I got in my car and came home and got my damn bed. So, uh, hot for teacher, hot for your sick teacher. Okay, I guess it happens. I just didn't see that one coming. So, I just thought I'd share that with y'all. I'm about to uh, take some NyQuil or a Theraflu or something with some alcohol in the base of it so I could not cough myself into infinity. I woke up wheezing this morning like I was crazy. Anyway, so we're clear this is just a, a bad cold gone horribly wrong. I'll be glad with all this and all the coughing is gone because I feel wrecked. Uh, but you know, not too wrecked that I even find around 3.30 which I find is a time of the day like I have some energy. <coughs> I did a 20 minute workout, so, alright, I'm going to bed, this has been a long ass day, and trust me, I ain't do nothing, I ain't exert any energy until about four hours ago, so, alright, I hope y'all had a good evening, and I'll talk to you later.